That's on. Okay, we're almost ready. Yes, sound booth. Becky? Yes, okay. Just let me know when we're ready. Okay. All right, it sounds good? All right. When are we live? 20, 27 seconds? Seriously, Becky? 27 seconds. It's, I, I don't know, it's just a, a really weird number. You couldn't give me a 30 seconds? Well, I don't know, don't yell at me. I mean, 27, do you tell NASA on the countdown, 27 seconds? No, all the astronauts, I know they're not all astronauts in the, well, you're not mission control. Okay, so, okay, 17 seconds now. All right, look at me while you're counting down. <laughs> Can you give me an actual even number? Okay, 10 seconds. I'm glad we're not doing this in front of a live camera and nobody can see this because that would be very unprofessional. I think you guys need to get your act together. Okay, up and sound. Well, make sure we have the cameras on me this time. All right, mic checks. All right, sounds good. All right, three seconds. Three, two, and one. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Marbles. Dr. Marbles presents... What? There's no marbles behind me today. But it's still fun with marbles. Your host today is Dr. Marbles in front of a live studio audience. Yay! There's ones of peoples here. That's Linda Simone's or Simmons. Simmons. That's what I said, Simmons. Good morning, everybody. Do you have your cup of coffee today? I have mine. Mmm. I'm not sure what today's coffee is because it was made at a breakfast buffet. So I'm kind of wondering if it's Folgers or Nescafe or the instant that my grandma used to make when I was a child. It kind of tastes like it. And today's pastry is, well, let's see, together. Mm. It's something with strawberries. We're just gonna use our imagination and say it's strawberries. Mmm. Well, let's see who's on, and I don't got a candle today. I don't know what to do. We've never had a Dr. Marbles without a candle. Last week we used the fireplace. This week we'll just have to get along. Let's see who's on today. Good morning, Danny Lim. Katie, I'm not trying to mess up names today. Katie Capra Gwynn. Mm -hmm. I, I, did, I nailed it. Jeannie Blunk, Daniel Gonzer, Fred Gilbert, Christine Taylor, Kevin Stump, Preston Short, Kristen Taylor, Miranda Humans, Yumans, Humans. I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited too. And Sharon K. Dean, Tammy Lovejoy, Donna May. Well, there's a few of you here. Preston Short. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Preston. Greeting, Michael Lanza. All right. Well, today we're at Canton, Ohio. We're at the Canton, Ohio Marble Show. Well, I'd like to show you around the room, but first I would like to tell you some things I learned about marble shows and what happens in Canton, Ohio specifically. Well, I wandered around the rooms yesterday and yesterday I found out some wonderful facts about the people here in Canton, Ohio. One fact is in-room trading is big here. If you're into in-room trading, what you do is you turn your light on and you leave your door open and then you swap marbles. That's right. I said swap marbles by leaving your light on the front door and your door open. So that's what they like to do here is swap marbles. Um, and, and I've also found out that while they're in their rooms, they half watch the History Channel and leave Gold Rush playing on the History Channel while also talking about marbles. So it's a mixed bag. All right, there's also uh, some marbles here are for sale and they're wonderful, beautiful marbles here. But then I found some marbles that are not for sale. I'm not gonna name any names. <clears throat> you know who you are but one person had a Peltier Silver Surfer and would not let it go, which that didn't bother me at all. 
<laughs> so, not everything is for sale here at the Canton, Ohio show. Hoarders. <coughs> Hoarders. <coughs> Sorry, I, the coffee and the pastry was getting to me. So, I'll take another sip. So, Canton, Ohio, let's look briefly around the room at some of the people here. And some people had warrants out for their arrest and felony charges that didn't want to be on camera, apparently. So, I will try my best to locate. Ding. 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 I will not put those three people on camera. I'm sure there's no illegal activity whatsoever. Here we go. Let's take a look around the room. And there's Linda trying to stay off the of camera. Let me make sure. Oscar trying to stay off the of camera. All right. So, let's see some beautiful mibs. Oh, I believe those are Novas, Peltier Novas. Of course, I'm a doctor, so I should know. Am I right? Here's some beauties here. These are Sammy Armands. Earman. We're going to go with Earman Trout. So there's Sammy's Marbles. Here's some beauties here. Look at these beautiful handmaids. Oh, some German 1800s. Let me take the phone out of the my uh, high tech. Mind if I put this here real quick? My high tech um, camera holder. I'll put that down for a minute. There's some beautiful acros, and these are Mark Thompson's marbles. Look at those handmaids. Look at these CACs. Look at that beautiful guinea. That looks like maybe a diaper fold right there with the green and black. Yeah. There's a beautiful diaper fold. Um, one I've never seen before. Mm, what yeah, is, I've, I've had those before. What is that one? It's just three quarter inch tricolor. Too. All right. Well, there's what's your name again? Mark Thompson. Mark Thompson. Oh, look at these beautiful pelts. All right, going around the room. Oh, you want to see some tins? What's his name again? Art Bolds. Mark Bolds. Art. Hart. Art. Bolds. Art Bolds. These are some of his tins. Oh boy. You gotta see some of these acros. Morning, Jason Greer. Good morning, Kevin Statham. Good morning, Sharon. Fred Gilbert. Look at these beautiful tins. Oh boy. Yeah, they are nice. Good morning, Letita. Letitia. Good morning, Letitia. Yeah, Letitia, those are some beautiful Germans. These are Jabos? Or yes. Jabu? Jabo. 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 What's the correct word way to say J A B O? Jabo? Jabu? Or Jabber? Jabo. We're going to go with that. Because I don't know. But Jabo? Jabo. Jabo. <laughs> Somebody Jay get it right. J and then the bow. J and bow. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it's a, a hazard. <laughs> Wonderful Jabos. Oh, these are beautiful. Here. Yes. You get a better picture this way. What type is this? Acro agates. Oh, these are acro agates? Yep, heroes. Some beautiful heroes. Hi, Carson DePew, Rhonda Altman, Kevin Statham, Carson. Those are beautiful. All right. Well, looking around the room, we'll just do a quick. He was with Eddie Cease last year at the West Virginia, making some with him alongside in the kiln. Wonderful artist. And since I'm horrible with names, Brian Eastep. Brian Eastep. He's hosting the show, helping set up everything and organizing. Wonderful host. Look at some of his marbles. This is hard glass or soft glass? It's hard glass. Hard glass. Silicate glass. Silicate glass. Just beautiful. Fused glass. Or silica glass, or silica glass, furnace glass on the end. Just a jewelry, beautiful. a little something for everything. Morning, Joseph Hart, Hodge, Kevin Stump, Jill Brush. Look at those beauties. All right, we probably need to get back to the show. Here's some more beauties. Ooh, a little tea set. There's everything at the Canton show. All right, so we even have silver and gold. Oh, look at that German. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. That's is that a wild boar? Look at that beautiful wild boar. And actually, we're going to talk about sulfide today. Pure gold. And we got some.
pure gold, some one ounce golds. Uh, 25 bucks, right? 50. 50 bucks. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get back to the show. And you can see more marbles. More marbles, some NKs. Oh, yeah, don't forget the Got Marble stickers. <laughs> Have you got your Got Marble stickers? If not, contact James Prickett and he can hook you up. These are beautiful, James. Thank you. So there's the marble show in Canton, Ohio. Oh, let's get our high tech camera pod. Yep, a styrofoam cup because we know how to do it at Dr. Marbles. All right, let's put this right back here. It seemed to have moved a little bit. One more second. What happened? Yep, professionalism on Dr. Marbles. All right, high budget. Let's go right here. All right, there we go. Are you not entertained? Right. Gladiator. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, so that's the, the Marble Show here in Canton. Um, there were some things I heard in the hallways, um, some pieces of advice and some, some, some jokes I heard. Uh, one was, um, why is a nose not 12 inches? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> I, I don't understand it. But um, why does Piglet smell? Because he plays with poo. I don't understand that. <laughs> um, hashtag winning. A marble walks into a bar and the bartender says, why the long face? I may have mixed my jokes here. It's actually better when no one gets it, just me. <laughs> There's the horse. Oh, the bartender said, we don't serve time travelers here. A time traveler walked into a bar. A bartender yelled, we don't serve time travelers here. A time traveler walked into a bar. Time traveler. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. A time traveler. Somebody tell Linda Simone that a time traveler, the joke would be backwards because he travels through time. Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> time travel. I'm a little slow. It starts off. We don't serve time travel. Explaining jokes on Dr. Marbles. Yes. It actually makes the joke funnier if you explain jokes and you learn something. <clears throat> okay, so today is brought to you by Gillette Safety Razors. Gillette Safety Razors. So safe, even a baby can use them. Gillette Safety Razors. Use them. I get 50 cents every time I say Gillette. Also brought to you by Wild Root Hair Tonic. Ladies, are, your, are you married? Are your husbands bald or going bald? Do you want them to be? You don't want a bald-headed husband, do you? Then buy Wild Root Hair Tonic. Wild Root Hair Tonic, made from wild roots from South Africa. I use it. And also brought to you by the yogurt that makes women poop. Okay, so those are our sponsors this morning. Also, our songs today is Neil Young, Harvest Moon, Johnny Cash, I've Been Everywhere. I've Been Everywhere. Been I, I was going to do a map with all the spots that he named, but I, after 30 minutes, I found I only found three places on the map. Dean Martin sings, My, Ro My Rifle, My Pony, and Me. If you don't know these, look them up on Spotify or iTunes. Dean Martin, My wow. Rifle, My Pony, and Me. Also, my last song today is Abba sings Fernando. You know Fernando, right? There's something in the air that night. The stars are bright. Fernando. They were shining there for you and me. Fernando. 
Every, everybody over 50 just looked at me and gave me the grandparent look. <laughs> we are here for your entertainment. And Abba keeps spelling their name weird. A B B A. You know what I'm talking about if you were born in the 70s like me. All right, good morning, CJ Benz. Let's see who else is on. Michael Jobert. Actually, Michael Jobert, I was going to talk about you later, but we'll talk about you now. Michael, I hope I'm saying it right, Jobert or Jobert. Um, Brian Jobert and Noah came here yesterday, and they were showing some stuff that they do. They make a wonderful necklace. I've got a, a red slag here that he gave, and an MK with a venturing in it. And I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say it, but since I said it, that's how I say it. A venturing. That's how you say it, because I know. So thank you, Noah, one of his sons. What a wonderful gift. Good morning, Tom O'Connor. Good morning, Jill Brush. Jill Brush, you've always given wonderful buys, and I appreciate every time you sell marbles to me. One of these days you'll find out that you've been giving me amazing marbles for really, really good prices. And I'm not going to say that. Okay, and also before we get on to our marble facts today, today's days and national day is, today is National Groundhog Day. It's also National Heavenly Hash Day. I, we're going to go with the, the, pan, the, the, the bread and the pancake and the, that kind of hash is what we're talking, because we're G-rated on Dr. Marbles. And also tater tots. So those are your three days today. It actually sounds like it would make a good meal if you lived a little bit further south from here. Okay, so, oh, um, why did Mozart kill all his chickens? Because when he asked them who was the best composer, they kept saying, bok, 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 Oh, I like that. So, I think she's still thinking about the time traveler. The bartender said, we don't serve time travelers here. A time traveler walked into a bar. They're still giving me very weird looks like they don't get the joke, which is great. All right. Yes, Jason Greer, Groundhog is good barbecue. I'll have to take it on your word. Yes, Jill, I do want your German swirls. Good morning, Dan. From, oh, I'm gonna, I'm not trying to mess your name up, but it's from Meister. Good morning, Dan. <laughs> good morning. And Corey Nig, good morning, Corey. Hope you're doing good. Caleb Stone Street. Hey, good morning, Caleb. Okay. Um, what is the best time to go to the dentist? 2.30. 2.30. Well, the jokes are going over great today. All right, well, let's talk about our, our marble of the day. Today, we're gonna to talk about sulfides. What is a sulfide? What are the more common ones? And what are the more rare ones? Sulfides, and let me bring it to the camera. Here we go, here we come. Here's a nice little sulfide. This has got a stallion in it, or a horse. Morning, Kevin Stump. See some beautiful bubbles in there. Let's talk about sulfides. Sulfides are made between the 1800s up to the 1930s. They always have a pontal and always one pontal. When first made, early collectors feared they were feared them because they were made out of, they thought they were made out of sulfur and not porcelain. The more common ones are white porcelain with a clear crystal glass. Harder to find ones are color glass like green or blue, and sometimes the figurines can even be painted. Sulfides. Do you have one? Mm -hmm. Sulfides. All right. Good morning, Sergio Luis. Who else is on? Oh, you got quite a few people on. Good morning, Margie Draper and Sharon Skinner. Okay. 
So, other marble facts. Did you know pirates' eyes, when they were pirates, were made of marbles? And also, the first marbles were found in Egypt. One of these is true and one is not. You decide. Sandy, I think everybody can hear you on Dr. Marbles right in the microphone. But that's okay. <laughs> they wanted to hear about that box anyways. It's all good. High quality production on Dr. Marbles. All right, um, let's see. Do we have any more marble facts today? Hmm. Um, you already heard about the time traveler and Mozart. Well, I think, good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Prima Donna, who is actually Stone, Angela, Stone Street. Good morning, Sharon Skinner. All right, well, I think that's the whole Dr. Marble show today. Not very long, but thanks for watching. Remember, as I end every Dr. Marbles, I always tell you, be nice to the people in our community because the marble community is nice. They're helpful people. Um, please add something to the Dr. Marbles page. Um, tell somebody about the show. We're gonna keep going until we just get everybody into a nice, wonderful community that can be friendly and love each other and be kind. So this is Dr. Marble saying God bless. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and marble on. Bye everybody. All right, since I've got the high dollar production, I'm gonna lift up my styrofoam cup. Bye everybody, yep, bye bye.